we installed, uh, I believe we started with four devices in four restrooms in our building. And I would say we had our first activation on day one, first period. And uh, in, that, in that situation, we had a student uh, vaping in the restrooms and uh, the students did not know the devices were installed over the, over the summer. And uh, we quickly responded to that uh, activation uh, and were able to identify um, the, the activity that was taking place there. And, and that kind of set the ball rolling on um, our implementation with these devices. And I've been extremely impressed with the technology, with the effectiveness of the device. Um, and, and I can say that due to these devices, uh, we have able, we've been able to identify um, multiple instances of uh, vaping uh, in our restrooms to this day. We knew we had a problem and we really had no good solution on ways to detect it. And, and, and the Halo devices allowed us to detect the activity. Um, since then, we have identified a number of cases and we've been able to curb it and and use it as, as not just punitive, um, but we use it as an educational moment to try and help those students through uh, the decisions that they're, they're making uh, to, to hopefully move them towards a, a healthier lifestyle. It has detected THC. Um, you know, when, the, when I get my activation alert to my, my cell phone and to my email account, um, a lot of those times, uh, those readings are much higher. And then it's in the investigation, it's in the questioning, it's in the searching uh, that, that we determine that the device contained THC. Without the Halo device, I'm not sure I catch those. We have utilized a couple of the features, the, the vandalism, the loud noise, um, you know, those have been detected and we, we go down and uh, investigate that, you know, so our response time, once we get an alert, um, we feel it's, uh, it's pretty effective to, to get down there right away. But I look forward to utilizing all the features as we move forward, just to make a healthier, safer uh, campus environment for our students and staff. Traditionally, we would catch a handful of, of students uh, engaged in, in this type of vaping activity. Um, to this day, you know, our numbers are much higher and I attribute that to, to the Halo device. And I recommend it to all my colleagues that, that I talk to because we're all faced with this challenge. Um, you know, bathrooms are, uh, are a big area that these activities take place in, locker rooms, um, and, and those are private areas. And um, this is a way to detect those types of activities with, without being invasive. Um, but anytime I get the opportunity to, to talk about the HALO devices and how they've helped me combat this, uh, this type of activity, I, I take every advantage I can to tell my colleagues and to tell others and to, and to advocate for the HALO devices because I've not seen something that's been as effective, as accurate on the market than this HALO device.